Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be following a watercolor holiday wreath tutorial from Emma Lefebvre and I'll link her video down in the description box below. So I went ahead and cut my paper into a square because I thought it would just look better since we're doing a round wreath um, just to have a square instead of a rectangle. So I just traced the lid of a candle to give myself um, like a circular guide for my wreath and just kind of erased it enough to where I could just barely see it. After that, I went ahead and went in with just some red to make these berries. Um, and like she did, I just left a little highlight spot open. Um, so I did kind of a darker red and let those kind of dry a little bit. And then I went back with just kind of water on my brush and kind of pulled some color from my darker ones to make some lighter ones just to give it some contrast here. So I went around the entire wreath and I just made five little clumps of red berries and I really liked how those turned out. Um, I did need to be a little more patient and let them dry before doing some of the green, but it turns out fine. I like how it looks, so I'm not too worried about it. I was just kind of painting leaves. I really like this green color, but I wanted to make sure it had some depth to it, so I ended up adding a little bit of light green to these, and I darkened these up here in just a little bit because they were just a little too light with the berries. Um, so I went around the entire circle and just added these clusters of, you know, leaves. They're, they're not any specific leaf. I think it'd be pretty to do eucalyptus or something next time, but these were just kind of free-handed leaves. Um, and I just added those all the way around until I was satisfied with um, how the symmetry and the placement and all of that. You can kind of see here in a minute I add leaves here and there as the wreath kind of takes shape. the end I'm just adding more touches of color here and there just to give the leaves a little more depth um, I really liked how the different greens blended together um, and again I'm just blotting out some color that ran together and then I practiced writing happy holidays with my micron pen just to make sure I you know liked the font before I did it on the piece of art wrote it right in the middle here and here is the final product um, if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like 
Um, and if you would like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.